Hi, yeah, just going to go through uh, query 19 from Appendix 10 of the course spec, which relates naturally to example 13 in Appendix 5. So first of all, just looking at the design and how we would go about solving uh, this sort of problem. So if you got an exam and it just said, here are some, you know, here are some tables, write this query, design this query. Um, how we do it? Well, you always think in terms of breaking it down into smaller parts. So, um, let's just check. We want to display names and types of resorts not booked by the customer with ID 315. So, first thing I would say, I want to know what resorts were booked by customer 315. And so we can use a subquery to that. So, um, I'm, I'm just using, again, the SQA sort of solutions here what they've done I mean I'd be inclined perhaps just to go for the the resort IDs but anyway um, there's a lot of stomping going on in my house Some, a bit of tension this morning I think okay um, so finding out the resorts so we're looking at now if you look at the structure of the tables first of all we need to look at the bookings table to find what customer 315 has booked and we're looking for all the rows where the customer number is 315. From that, we can link to the hotel table. So it's got a hotel reference. We can link to the link to the hotel table. And from that, each hotel links to a resort ID. So we link to the resort table. Um, and that's given us resort names. Again, this is just the way the SQA have done it. I think it's probably possible just to do this using resort IDs. But anyway... And then we're we're going to check through, so that'll give us a, a list of things that um, 315 has booked, a list of resorts they're going to. Uh, we must really hate them because we want to make sure we're not even in the same area as customer number 315, poor Edwina Jones. Um, and we're, we're then going to look through the resort table and we're just going to find out uh, which resorts are not in that list. So again, obviously, this is pretty easy with a small data set, but... Uh, it certainly is quite useful for examples to be able to do this. Um, but imagine this being done with a far, far larger data set, which you couldn't do manually very easily. Right, so that's how it's looking. We just want the, the name and the type of the resort. Um, this is how it's going to look here. So the subquery is going to... We have to include our equijoin, so joining... Uh, well, booking to hotel and hotel to resort. To, to end up with the resort names for 315. So let's focus on that first. And this is what it gives us. So, you know, remember what it's doing. It's going through booking, looking for customer number 315, finds it here, AY19, and that takes it here, and it can get the resort ID 168, and so we get AIR as a resort name. And similar idea for these two rows as well. So we end up with Air, Fort William and Portree as the resort names. I feel sure this could be done in a simpler way. I haven't thought too hard about it, but it seems like another kind of convoluted example. Anyway, this is our result set from the subquery. So that replaces subquery and now we've got what is a pretty simple looking query to deal with. Okay, so from resort we're looking for resort names which are not in that list. So we end up with Loch and uh, Glasgow. And then we can finally decide whether we fancy the country or the city. Um, we can go to either and not have to bump into Edwina Jones. Okay, um, hope that helps. See ya.